if you feel some level of anxiety or nervousness, you need to you need to know that you are not alone. You are not the only one. As Mark Twain said, there are only two types of speakers: those who get nervous and those who are liars. So if somebody tells you, no, I don't feel anything, like for example, this is what I do for a living. That's I'm a presentation coach. I help people with their presentations. I give presentations all the time. But before any presentation, including today, I feel nervous. We, we all do. Now, there are a few things we can do. One of, the, one of the main things is preparation. We need to be prepared and rehearsal comes into play. Now, if you want to be a confident speaker, here is the thing. Often people think that confidence comes from some sort of internal attitude or wishful thinking, whereas it has nothing to do with that. Confidence comes from three things, and I'm talking about confidence in public speaking. Confidence comes from knowing your, knowing your audience, knowing your message, and being prepared. If you know your audience, if you do the work to get to know the audience before the presentation, if you know your message, and if you are prepared, and I would say for people like you, Beth, maybe even slightly over-prepared, then you should be confident. If that doesn't happen, there are a few other things you can do. I'll just give you one because I don't want to go long. Breathing can be very, very powerful. One of the things I do before any presentation I have my own warm up and breathing exercise. And there are many techniques that you can find online on YouTube. My way, what works for me, I always do breathe in and I count to four. And then what's important is that when you breathe out, you make it longer and I count to six. Breathe in, count to four, breathe out, count to six. And What's important is that ideally you don't, want to you, you don't want to breathe from your chest because when you breathe from your chest, this is the panic breathing. <laughs> or maybe when you're doing sport, whereas if you really want to relax and calm down, you want to breathe from your belly. And again, it can be learned. So you breathe in and you, put your, you push your belly out and you count to four and then you breathe out slowly. You pull your belly in.